Hi, welcome to a limited edition series entitled The Eyes of Fear. We offer this series to you because so often in life, when things come along that are new, that are different, that are fresh, it can be a new job, a new school, a new relationship. It can be a, a, a new um, set of responsibilities. It could even be a new year. You look at that and whether or not you're going to be successful, whether or not you reach your goals, whether or not it ends up being a good experience or a bad experience, um, has little to do with the circumstances, but everything to do with your perspective. The economy might tank. In your job, you might struggle. Your family may face challenges. But the most important question that we have to ask is will you look at whatever it is going on with faith or will you look at it and be swallowed up by fear? The choice is yours. And the basis we're going to use for this idea is biblical. If you were to read Numbers 13, the Israelites made the same kind of choice. It's a story that a lot of us in church are familiar with. Moses had led the Israelites out of Egypt. They'd been slaves for over 400 years. They spent nearly two years in the desert. Moses sends in 12 spies, one from each of the tribes, into the Promised Land to see what's in store for the Israelites when they arrived. Ten of the spies came back with reports of fear. They told the Israelites that the land was full of enemies and, Israel, the, and the people of Israel couldn't beat them. In reality, the Promised Land was incredible. Just like God had promised, it was a land flowing with milk and honey, as Scripture has said. Only Joshua and Caleb, two of the spies, Return with reports of faith. You're familiar probably with the story. The Israelites chose to listen to the ten. And as a result, they put their look toward the future into the hands of the ten who were fearful. Because of their responses, Joshua and Caleb were the only two of their generation that got the opportunity to go into the promised land. The rest would die in the wilderness. Believe it or not, you are just like the Israelites. There's a promised land of sorts that God has for each one of us. There's a life that God has for each one of us. And as we move toward it, we have to decide how we're going to face it. Are we going to look at the circumstances around us and be fearful? Or are we going to have faith and understand that we are in that place that God has placed us? And because of that, amazing things can happen. And so, that's what this series is about. It is a warning, if you will, not to look through the eyes of fear, but instead, blink them back. Lose focus on fear and choose faith. And we'll dig in and share a couple of things, specific things that you can do to help you do that in our next episode.